It's Bonnie. Happy Saturday. It is four o'clock. I am late. However, I did get into Bath and Body Works today. Yay. It's really warm out today. It's not feeling very fall like. It's feeling more like summer, uh, but the sun feels good. I was able to go out for a walk today, so that was exciting. So, I actually went to Michael's today, got a couple beads. Oh my goodness, we're working on some Christmas stuff for the Etsy store. We're actually just starting to put Christmas in. Still plenty of Halloween and um, fall. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how cute these little snowmen are. We've got bracelets, we've got angels. So definitely check out the Etsy store. The link is below, purse charms and bracelets. I'll be listing stuff all weekend. Oh my gosh, my mother actually made this one. It's so pretty, it's so unusual. Look at this, it's got some angels on it. And it's got this really pretty um, like cross bead there. So just lots of cool stuff. So check it out. Oh my gosh, Bath and Body Works today. Oh boy, it was crowded in there. I was really surprised how many people were buying the wallflowers today for $2.95. These are popular. Um, I didn't really buy many. <laughs> I bought one. <laughs> I was on the hunt for the uh, the salted pretzel caramel candle sold out. That one was gone. You kind of got to go on the day it releases. I think it came out on Thursday. They were gone though. So I actually did buy one wallflower that I've kind of been wanting. It's called salted butterscotch and vanilla. And then they also have the scent control plugs for $8. So that was kind of like the big deal today. And then um, body care was the buy three, get three. Uh, tons of Halloween stuff at my store. I'm gonna put a screenshot up. I still am like over the top excited about Halloween. I could do a huge Halloween video. <laughs> you know how much I love Halloween. I have a lot of videos for you guys today though. So I'm gonna do um, how to use a scent control. I'm going to review the pumpkin pecan waffles with body mousse. I have the hometown cookies candle burning. We're going to find out if I hate it as much cold or maybe I like it when it's burning. We're going to find out. And then I actually have a homeworks video. So lots of fun stuff happening today. I'm excited to dig into my videos today. So if you're brand new to Bath and Body Works and you're kind of like, should I get a sun control? Should I not get one? I highly recommend getting one today. They have them in green, they have a red one, they have them in like a marble. I actually prefer um, the fancy ones. You know, I don't have any Halloween on my desk here. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Check it out. <laughs> I have the, uh, the 4th of July one. Why I have this one over here, I have no clue. Um, I'm gonna do a whole video of my Halloween wallflowers. I'm gonna show you the entire collection. There's a bunch I haven't reviewed yet either. Um, but this looked good for Christmas, I thought. So, how the heck do you use this thing? That's a question that a lot of people who are brand new to Bath & Body Works ask. So, it comes all wrapped up like this, and then you kind of have to fight with it a little bit to get the plastic off. So there's actually, if you look close, there's like a, does it always come off easy? There's like a tab, and you can pull it off and then um, it comes off in one piece. And then there is a set of instructions with very tiny writing in them. I never even look at the instructions anymore. <laughs> but check it out. It's this like little tiny instruction uh, book. You can actually go online and learn about these too. And then the second thing you're gonna do is remove this piece. So one thing a lot of people don't realize about the Bath & Body Works Wallflower Plugs is that the plug rotates because it's not super obvious unless you read the instructions. So if you have those sideways plugs in your kitchen and bathroom, you're going to want to just turn the plug in order to match whatever way is up because you want this thing straight up. Don't ever plug it in like this. So you're going to have some trouble there. Always plug it in like this. So I actually have, I got my plug here. I'm going to plug this in and show you how this one works. So on the side, you're going to see um, a little button and there's low, there's medium, and there's high. 
Now, in theory, the medium is supposed to be like every other sun plug. The low is going to be a little bit less, and then the high is going to give you more intense. I do kind of notice it does work. Um, I think basically what it's doing is it's just either, I, I have a theory. I don't even know the science behind these. I think what's happening maybe is that maybe it heats up a little bit more to get the high. Um, that is my guess because like I don't really see like a mechanical mechanism in here um, because it's it's like electronic that's what makes me think it's heating up more because if it was just um, mechanical it would just have like a slide button to open it more so that, that's my theory um, salted butterscotch and vanilla oh my goodness this is a good scent especially for fall this one is sweet bourbon caramel brulee warm vanilla and buttered maple. Why don't we have this in a body care? Seriously, I would slather myself in this stuff. Oh my goodness, in the shower, this would be so good as a shower gel. So in order to open one of these, there is a serrated edge on the plastic, and then you're just going to pull that up, and then you're going to take the plastic wrap off. And then here's the tricky part. I always talk about this in all my videos. Throw out righty tighty Lucy lefty that you learned your entire life. There is an arrow on here. You can barely see the arrow, but you might think that you're supposed to turn it this way to open it. You're going, why the heck won't this thing open? It doesn't work. I can't open it because I've done that like a thousand times going, it doesn't work. You have to turn it the opposite way that you think it would open. So once you turn this thing, you're going to take the top off, set it aside, and then you have a wick. So you can see the wick goes all the way to the bottom, and that's what pulls the fragrance oil up. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. It's like all butterscotch, a little bit of bourbon, a little bit of vanilla. So in order to load this thing, what you're going to do is there is a hole up here. Now, if you get a bulb and the wick is all squishy, just return it because it's not going to work very well. Sometimes these get like smashed and you have to do an exchange. It's all good. They'll exchange them. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take the wick and you're going to insert it right there. And then you're going to turn this thing the opposite of what you think, because if you turn it the other way, it's not going to screw in. Don't over tighten it. I'm not sure I like this color combination though. It's kind of weird. It actually does look folly though. <laughs> like it looks super fall. This would look nice with um, a clear bulb or a red one for Christmas. I just thought the green was pretty for Christmas. So don't over tighten. You got this thing going. And then you're going to put it on low, medium, or high. And that is going to start the scent going. I can smell it already. So you're going to plug this into the wall. I usually pl plug this in on the weekends. I'm cleaning. I like my house to smell really good. The advantages of the wallflowers are that you can leave them going when you're not home. I mean, obviously, you're not going to want to light a candle and leave the house. Um, so these are nice. A lot of people run them constantly throughout their house. I don't do that because I have so many scents going on. Um, you know, with my reviewing, I don't like to kind of have all these extra scents in the house. So like I said, I usually use them when I'm cleaning or um, if I have guests coming over, which isn't very often these days. <laughs> like, I don't, we don't have anyone over. <laughs> but if I did, I would plug one of these in. So um, they're nice. They give off a nice, true scent to whatever um, fragrance you got going. So that is the wallflower plug. I just wanted to give a nice demo here because, you know, if you're brand new to these, um, you're not going to really know what to do. So you can just unplug this thing when you're done. Um, they're supposed to last like two to three weeks. I've never used them that long. I usually, what I do is when I'm done, I unscrew it. I put the cap back on. I'm <laughs> putting it the right way. And then I put the little label back on because um, I want to know what it is. I can usually do this by smell but then I put it in my little storage bin. Um, on the top, believe it or not, they actually have the scent. Do they still have that? They, they used to have it where it was etched into the top. I don't see it on this one though. Um, so that way you know what it is, even if you, know, you lose the thing. I don't see it on this one. Anyway, these are glass, so be a little bit careful. Um, you don't want to drop these and get the oil everywhere. They're, they're pretty sturdy, but, you know, I don't recommend dropping them on cement or anything. You'll break them. But um, 
Look at this one. You see, look at me. I'm like, which way does it go? I have to play with it. I've been doing this for like 10 years and I still have to play with these. So anyway, that is the fragrance plug and the refill. Uh, let me know if you're shopping the sale today and I will see you guys soon. I got a ton of videos. Bye-bye.